controlling us and, and giving us the strength to follow him. That's really good. The law is our guardian, showing us the nature of God. We can only have righteousness through faith in Christ, but because of what Christ has done for us, we should be obedient to God's commandments. The faith, I mean, the, the righteousness, our righteousness, our only righteous hope we have is Christ's righteousness. And the only way we can get it isn't by doing stuff. It's by faith. And obedient to his commandments. You may ask what commandments. I think if we look at what Jesus said in Matthew 22, verse 37, we would be a long way. He says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depends all the law and the prophets. That's a tough deal. That is the law. That is what we should strive to do. Obey him in everything we do. Show our neighbors that we love them. That's being obedient. It doesn't impress God, but it shows God that we do love him. We will never obtain righteousness from doing these things, but we can be as obedient as possible because of the righteousness paid for by Christ's sacrificial work on the cross. We don't do it to impress God. If we can get that in our minds, that we don't impress God, that we are wretched sinners. We get so self-righteous. Oh, I've been going to church my whole life. I'm not like those people. Yes, we are. We are like those people. We are only saved by grace. By His grace. Let us never forget that. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, for your truth. We thank you for your law to show who we are. That we do fall short. That we are wretched sinners. And that we cannot do anything to impress you, God. We just thank you, God, that you are God and that you have made a way to you through the promised offspring, your son Christ Jesus, and that he lived a perfect, obedient life to you, and that he died a perfect death to pay for my sin and the sin of your elect. Not only to pay for our sin, but to place his righteousness on us. I pray, dear Lord, that we live by this faith, that we be righteous through Christ. That we strive to be obedient to you to show that we love you. But understand, we cannot impress you with our obedience. We can just be children wanting to please our Father as best as we can. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, for all your wonderful blessings. We pray that you be with us throughout this week. In Jesus Christ's holy name, amen. May he who is full of kindness and compassion, who is slow to anger, vast in love, who works of love are of surprising measure, Keep you in unity of the Spirit through the bonds of peace.